Hello and welcome to part 9 of my Let's Play of The Sims 2 on Throwback Thursdays. In the last episode, just as we're having a look around the town, um, I introduced you to my new created family who don't have a roof, but that's fine. Details, details. Um, we're not going to look at the roof anyway when we play, so let's just hope it doesn't rain. Um, so it's the Abayas family because I couldn't figure out how to not give them a common surname. Now, if you missed the introduction to the family and uh, the creation of the house video, which was episode 8, then make sure you go back and watch that. However, we're not going to waste any more time. We are going to jump into 118 Road to Nowhere and meet the Abaza family again. And this is going to be a lot um, freer and easier than the first seven episodes that were quite structured because there were certain things I knew we had to get done in each household. This is just going to be The Sims as The Sims is intended to be played. Just easy going. It's paused at the moment. Let me just check my settings real quick. We have free will on, which is perfect. And what I'm just going to do, we're going to start with Josh because he's selected for whatever reason. Let's get the needs bar up because that's probably the most important. And he wants to earn some money and he wants to get a job in one of these careers. In fact, what I'm going to do before I set playing, just to give myself a head start, is I'm going to set them all doing something that they want to. You want a telescope? Costing at least 500 simoleons. And you want a bookcase as well. And you want a job. Okay, well in that, since um, since Josh is already getting a job, what I'm going to actually do, a bookcase is a really good idea. So let's see if we've got a little bit of room in the house. I'm sure we have. There's some room right in front of that window over there. So let's get into buy mode. Let's get a bit of music going. Um, I don't think it's in that actually. Back. Hobbies. Ah, here we go. Just, oh no, wait, did she want... Just any bookcase, any bookcase, any bookcase, okay. The telescope has to cost at least 500. There we go, there is a bookcase for you. Look at that, we're already achieving someone's want. Where is Joe? There she is, looking all happy with that, with that bookcase. And what does she want to do? She wants to gain a cooking skill point. Okay, fair enough. Right, so that could be your first thing that you do. You want to earn some money, get a job, get a job. Buy a sculpture. Should we buy something decorative for the house? Or is that too frivolous right now? I'll tell you where it could go. It could go next to the TV and make a little bit of a divide. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, dresses, party. Where is like... Oh, decorative. Right, and we want a sculpture. Nice and flamingo. We could put it outside, actually. Should we put a little flamingo outside? I should put it in his bedroom. No, there's not really any room in his bedroom. Um, there you go then. You can have that. Right, let's see what else you come up with. Because I can't find you a job just yet. Because that's what Josh is doing. He just wants a job. So we're just going to leave him to it. In fact, what do you need the most? You need environment and hunger. So you can serve breakfast. And let's just make it cereal. Okay, we ready guys? Let's go. Okay, so Josh is finding a job. Joe is learning about cooking. Rick is learning by doing. And we are off to a flying start. And Free Will is on, so they should take care of their own needs somewhat. Um, right, I should have been on Josh here. Science career, I don't think he wanted. Let's just switch to Josh quickly. He wants criminal, sports, or I don't know what that is. What's that one? Business, okay. Military, look again. There are no more jobs available today. You can't have a job just... Should we just get him a, a job so we can start completing this one? Yeah, let's let's just get him any old job for now. In fact, let's uh, let's greet... Let's make friends with our Sims. Let's have our Sims make some friends. Right, you need to find a job. Right, come on, greet her. Let's find him another job. Rick's having some breakfast. Good for him. Joe is learning all about cooking. Look at her just making herself at home having some breakfast. All right, so her and Rick are having a chat. Let's see if they hit it off. All right, um, 64 a day. Look again. 
53 a day, so the first one's the best one so far. 57. Look again, there are no more jabs. Yeah, but just keep looking. I want that first one. I want the first one because it pays the most. And he doesn't particularly want any of the career tracks. So it makes sense to... Oh, I didn't mean to zoom... No, I didn't mean to zoom then. I meant to rotate a bit. Right. Are they getting along? They seem to be. They very much seem to be. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to click that. Sorry, overly sensitive mouse there. Guys, right, take the first job. Take that one. We'll arrive at... 4 p.m. at 4 p.m. at 1400 at 2 p.m. That is today. Great. He's not been to school today for whatever reason. What does he want to do? He wants to gain a logic skill point. There's no logic workout. Change two. Yeah. Joe has earned a skill point and she wants to get to level 2. Alright. Right, Rick is now doing nothing. What's he doing? Is he cleaning up or something? He's cleaning up. But he wants a business. I think there's a business one. Or an athletic or a criminal. Now, I know um, Rick in real life. And I know he has an athletic career. However, I think we're going to take the... Oh no, it's the politics one. There is no business one, is there? But he wants to earn some money, so let's... Should we get him a job as well? Let's get him a job. But obviously, I'm not going to base these sims entirely on, like, real-life decisions and stuff like that. I'm actually going to, uh... Just attempt to follow the wants and avoid the fears as best I can, really. Right. So, we've got... Okay, so it's, is it the same three jobs? Oh, it, uh, it is. That is a different job. It's in the same track, but it's a different job. That one was 2.17... Law enforcement. Okay, that's different. And that was 336, so that was the best one. So far, military. 350. Is there only three? There are only three. Right, so it's the last one. It's the last one. Sorry about this, guys. A bit of a drag, this. Joe's just sat there reading all about cooking. She is going to be the head chef of the household, clearly. Some visitors have arrived to help welcome you to the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, okay. Can we just uh, greet everyone? Greet everyone. There we go. Greet everyone. And then let's just get you a job. Remember using these in one of the previous episodes? Four, maybe? Right, we appear to be stuck. Terrific. Right, what does uh, what does this boy want? He wants a logic skill point. But we haven't got any room for a chess set yet. You need to earn yourself some money. And then uh, we might expand your bedroom to include a chess set or something like that. That would probably work. Right, Rick wants the third job because that was the highest paying. I remember now. Now, um, this one he wants. There we go. We'll arrive at 6 a.m. Lovely. That'll be nice for you, Rick. Um, and he doesn't want any of those jobs anymore, but he wants a painting. Right, what I'm going to do, I've decided. Let's just let them do what they want for a second. Just, uh, Jenny just making use of our facilities. Um... What I'm going to do, I've decided, I'm going to actually start a little notebook for this. Yeah, I'm going to go that geeky with it. And when our Sims earn a little bit of money, um, that is going to contribute to... Um, oh, yeah. Oh, this is getting repetitive. Okay. A um, bit broken, that. Um, I'm sure she'll get bored at some point and stop reading. Uh, what I'm going to do, yeah, is I'm going to keep track of how much money each sim earns. And then I'm going to put their individual pot. Because they're only roomies. They're not a family. They, they just know each other by living in this house. Because I've put them together. Because they're all my subscribers that wanted to see a Sims Let's Play. So, um, what I'm going to actually do... What's Rick doing? Is he just reading or is he learning? He's just reading. Okay, cool. Is I'm not going to buy anything else for the house. Oh, hang on. I feel like I've been a bit unfair. Joe wanted a bookcase and Rick wanted the flamingo. Which, incidentally, by the way, let me just uh, take this. That's better. Let's have it face in the front. Does Josh want anything? Any possessions? He wants to get into private school. He wants to make a friend. And a logic skill. So he wants a chess set. Now, it's a, it's a matter of room for a chess set, however. Unless, I know what we'll do, just just for Josh, just for Josh, because I've bought everyone something as a bit of a head start, and Josh wants to gain a logic skill point. 
So what I think I will do, where is there a little bit of room on a wall? Right here. I'm going to put a side garden. Okay. Um, have we got like a fence option? Ah, there we go. Fencing. Okay, let's have a half decent sized fence. Let's have it. Let's just have a nice white fence. And then let's... Oh, do I have to click and drag? It only needs to be... It doesn't even need to be there, you know, actually. It needs to be... Let's put a door on first. Let's make sure the door idea works. Let's put the door there. And in fact, let's buy the chest set first. A little bit of funky music. Um, chess. There it is. I don't know which way it has to go, to be quite honest with you. I'm guessing the two dots are where the people sit. So I'll just put it here. Let's get a couple of chairs. Get a couple of seats, just like the ones inside. For people to play chess. And then let's get back into building. And we get different music for building. Cool. Right, so yeah, we do want it at the front of the house. After all that. And it only needs to be... Um, this big, really, doesn't it? It needs to be a big area. I assume that'll be big enough. And then we have a chess set for Josh to gain a logic skill point. Oh, you have to go to work, Josh, my lad. Let's get you off that. There we go, he's going to work. He's going earning some money. Fantastic. Where is my usual notebook? I usually have a notebook knocking about somewhere to make... Uh, notes, obviously. Um, kind of getting hungry and hungry. It's because you're reading about food, love. Rick's just having a read. They're both being very antisocial. Um, let's send Rick out to greet this person. Is she going to ring the doorbell? No? No, she's gone. Never mind. Never mind. That could have been the love of your life, that Rick, and you just didn't bother going greeting her. Just didn't bother. Well, that antisocial all oh, my guys are being. They're just helping these lot all make friends with each other. Oh, there's Ophelia. There's Ophelia, remember, from uh, the disaster episode where everyone died. And then I had to redo it. All right, so Josh, when he gets home, could do with doing some... Is this not... Right, right, I got you, I got you. Okay, it's in use. Right, are you done? No. No, we all want to play chess, and we can't, because I've put it the wrong way, because I'm an idiot. I see my mistake now. There, that clock thing there needs to be at the side, because they're going to sit. And they are hinges, those little dots I was referring to. So this side opens up for this side's pieces, this side opens... I got you. Gotcha. There we go. Right, we are cooking with gas now. Now he wants to earn some money, he's going to get that. When he gets home... Let's have him practice some chess. As In fact, no, let's... Yeah, let's let him practice some chess. And he wants to make a friend. He wants to make a friend. So we've bought something for everyone now. So I feel like that's fair. And I'm only going to buy people's stuff based on... Who just kicked my... Who's my, kicked my flamingo over? I don't... I didn't see that happen. I bet it was this guy. He was outside. One of poll Pollination Tech 1. 9. 1. Um, he was outside before. I bet it was him. The rebel. Right, okay, so she is cooking level 3. And she wants to get to cooking level 4. She doesn't want a job anymore. She wants to see a ghost. So to do that, we're either going to have to visit a gravesite or we're going to have to have someone die on the premises. Ha! <laughs> oh dear. Um, this can only go well. We could visit... Oh, we could befriend Ophelia and go around to her house at some point. That could be a thing. That's what he's doing. He's, is he playing chess? He's playing some chess. I love how we've got whites versus whites here. Just sort of like off-white against actual white. Like, sure that's not how chess usually works, is it? Is she just watching? No, I thought she was actually spectating then. I thought that was kind of cool. Joe's still working on her cooking skill. She's had a fascinating first first episode. We're about 15 minutes in. I don't want to make this first episode too long. I also want to apologise. Um, I've just realised, oh, he's not friends with Ophelia, apparently. Um, 
Oh, as you do. As you do, Renee. Well, everyone's busy, so I'm not going to bother sending you out to meet her. Um, you gained a logic skill point. Josh will be very jealous. Um, he wants to earn some money. He's got a power one to earn a hundred simoleons. I think if we get a power one, I think we should uh, be safe from death. Oh, severe. Wow. We should we should mark those because they are power ones. No, no, no. You know what? No. If we miss our chance, we miss our chance. That's just tough, isn't it? Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna play this. Uh, I'm not gonna lock any once at all. Can you lock fears? You can. Can you lock one of each? No. Okay, you can lock one thing out of the seven. Interesting. Um. Yeah, just want to apologise for this video being slightly late. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be late. I'm actually on track at the moment. It is 20 to 1 in the afternoon, and this video is scheduled to go up at 8. However, this video has to go through uh, Sony Vegas's long rendering system, and then through YouTube's incredibly slow uploader. So, who knows what time it will actually surface, but it will be the next video on my channel after my 2pm. WWE one, which will already have been long since uploaded by the time you see this. So, uh, if you're interested in that, go back and watch it, of course. Um, is he... Wow, I don't think he's very good friends with Ophelia at all. Oh, no, they're, overall, they're okay. They're okay. That surname's not cool. That surname. That's not cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she's quite good friends with Rick. Oh, yeah, generic Manny Baser. Um... Won't be making an appearance, I don't think. Oh, he might do, actually. He might just wander past because he's in the neighbourhood. I might just delete him. Um, basically, I had to make uh, Josh a parent to move into the house. There he is. To um, to then move him out so that Josh could live in the house without being related to Rick or Joe. Uh, so, uh, that's who Genomic Man Ibeza is. is. I just literally made a new sim and that's what he looked like, I didn't edit him at all and I just made him Josh's father and that was it. So, sorry Josh, that isn't actually your father but you know, you'll do, you'll do for the purposes of this game. Is that Josh coming home after his long arduous shift at work? It is and he's not going to be able to play any uh, chess because Rick is playing with Ophelia. Look at that, hang on, he's sick with a cold, fantastic, that's what getting a job gets you. What's this now? Wants to earn a hundred simoleons. You, oh no, you've not done that yet. He wants to earn a logic skill point. He's also sick, and he's he needs his bladder sorting out. Right, Rick, he's returned. If he gets enough sleep and doesn't spend too much time standing up. Okay, fair enough. So we've got we've got the flu. <clears throat> Is he just? Go on then, greet him. Go on. See you later. Right, you go to the toilet because you didn't bother all the time you were in work. Bye, have a great time. So Josh has earned 64 simoleons. I always forget the name of the currency in Sims. She's earned another skill point and now she's bored. Now she's bored. Fantastic. Now she wants to be safe from death. Well, let... Oh no, she's not really going to die using a microwave, is she? But she is hungry, so she's going to just have dinner by herself. Ophelia's off. Um, Josh, despite not feeling very well, can go and play some chess now and gain a logic skill point. And maybe make a friend if someone comes over to play with him as well. You never know what they're doing here. Playing slap hands. If you want to play slap hands, go to your own house and do it. Get out of my house. Pollination um, tech number nine is just chilling, watching my TV. Joe's made herself some food and no one else. How selfish, Joe. How selfish can you be? Um, right. So let's let's get one last thing. Let's get Josh's um, skill point up. I'm, I'm just I've just realised everyone's going to end up in the same beds with um, free will on. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. But that's fine. Um, Rick is actually looking pretty hungry. Then pretty tired. I wonder which one he's going to prioritise. I'll let him decide that. Wow, Joe is not looking well. Right, she's sorting out her hunger, which is good. And she is a level 4 cooking. So, um, a level 4 cooking. She is a level 4 cooking, guys. She's a level 4 cook. What's Rick going to do? He's going to lounge. No, I reckon you should... 
serve an instant meal because that's how good you are at cooking. Cooking there, Vic. Not very good at all. Right, I was just getting on. Fine, just fine. As soon as he gets that, I'm probably going to send him to bed. Because it's past his bedtime. Just kidding. It's just that he is sick at the moment. So we definitely want him to... Um, to get plenty of sleep. Laura Vicks prepared these cans of drink. They are his culinary skills. Joe needs to move, apparently. No, she doesn't. She's fine. Let's just cancel that off. I hate that in The Sims, how once someone gets in someone's way. Yeah! Josh got logic. Go on, Josh. Right, you can go to bed, actually. Sleep in pyjamas. Don't want to see him in his underwear. Once a stereo costing at least 2,000 simoleons. We've got a way to go. You have a fair way to go. We rejected for the very first kiss. Ooh, that's a sketchy one. Never mind. What are they doing here? <laughs> they having a row about. So Josh is in bed. She needs to use the t you, shoe. <clears throat> in fact, you know what? Just go on. Just, just go home. I'll just send him home. That's fine. No, no, no. Go home. Oh, actually, there we go. Right, S send him home. Yes, I know you need the toilet. I can see. Send him home so he's not in your way. Oh, really? Oh, she's only washing her hands. Right, you know what? Say goodbye to everyone. Bye, go away. What's Rick want? What does Rick want? He wants another can, I reckon. Right, now you can use the toilet. Oh, show dears. Show dears. Never mind. <clears throat> Forgot about uh, free will and all that. Right, she's not having any fun recently. She's also still pretty hungry. Despite having cooking level four and made herself some food, she's pretty hungry. Hmm. I think I'll let her choose her priority there. I think Rick's going to need one more of these and then I'm going to send him to bed. Yeah, let's do, let's do that as an actual plan. There we go. And then we just have Jill to take care of. Is she just going to read to have some fun? She is. Let's get her sat down. Okay, um, with Rick going to bed and... In fact, you know what? Joe's not got a job yet, so let's just send her to bed as well. And then once everyone's in bed, we will call it a day with this episode, I think. I think that's what we should do. And there we go. Joe's in bed. Josh is in bed making Zeds. Hashtag bars. Let me know in the comment section if you know who that's from. Oh, we need a question of the day, don't we? We need a question of the day. A question of the day. Um, okay, nice and open question for you on this one. Are there any um, changes to how I've sort of laid out this series that you would like to see? Uh, do you agree or disagree with everyone having their own individual items? I mean, I know everyone's going to use each other's items and benefit from them. Like, everyone's going to use the bookcase. Everyone's going to slightly enjoy being outside more because of the flamingo. Everyone's probably going to play chess at some point. But... But, you know, in terms of it being based on who has that want, I think is the first way to go about it. But let me know if you disagree, if you think we should just have a big pot that they all put into and they all buy out of. Uh, that's the only other way of really doing this. But I like my way of doing it. It's a little bit more work for me, to be honest. But I don't mind that, you know, keeping keeping tabs on, on who earned what. That's fine. I know my money from uh, today's episode. 64 simoleons to that boy there. The teenager is the most productive member of this household. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the lot. Because that's what's done. Is it going to go back into game mode or just stay in paused? Stay in paused. Perfect. Okay, that is great. Um, So, yeah, let me know. Uh, that's not the only change you can suggest. Um, you can ch suggest changes to the house, um, to how I go about things, whether I have free will on or not. I like having free will on just because there's three characters, so if I'm not particularly paying attention to someone, they're still doing stuff. They're not just literally standing there doing nothing, having all their needs drop. Um, so I like having free will on, but if you really don't want me to have free will on, let me know. Let me know if there's any changes you want to see to how I'm go going to present the series. Now you've seen episode one. I know this is part nine. And it's episode one of this house, in effect, isn't it? So, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed today's episode. Um, 
and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and tell your friends about it if you think they would like it. But for now, thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.